All right, what's up y'all? Ryan here from Luminetic Lighting and today we're going to talk about the most common question we get and how to retrofit HID projectors into any car. Probably the most common question I get is will these HID projectors fit in my car? Well, hopefully this video helps answer this question and also we'll be going over all the different components you'll need for your HID projector retrofit. Now, if this is your first video with us, please consider subscribing as over the next few videos, I'll be going over all the different considerations you may need to take in order to choose the right components for your HID retrofit. Now, the first component to HID retrofitting is the HID projector itself. Depending on what type of bulb size your car came with, from the factory can determine whether your retrofit will be more of a plug and play or modification will be needed inside your headlight. Now if you use an H7 or H4 bulb type from the factory, you're in luck in terms of having HID projector options for a plug and play retrofit. Our MH1 6.0s and our MD2 S 3.0 are the two projectors that have adapters for H4 and H7 bulb types. So it makes retrofitting into your headlight a lot easier, I'll plug and play pretty much. Something like our FX Pro or Evo XR projector will require modification to your headlight mainly due to its size and that the fact that there's no adapter for any of the bulb types out there. If you have any other bulb type like a H1, H13, a 9006, 9007, anything aside from an H4 or H7, like I said, modification will be required. Now the second thing to consider when choosing HID projectors is size. Size of your headlight and size of the HID projector. For example, you don't want to be putting a smaller HID projector like the MH1 6.0 into a large headlight housing. It'll just look funny, it'll be out of place, it'll be too small, it'll look like it doesn't fit inside. So size is a consideration when choosing the right HID projector for your car. MH1 6.0s are for headlights that are slimmer in size and may not have the full housing capacity to uh, retrofit a larger HID projector in there. To summarize, when choosing your HID projector, consider these couple things. First, what's the OEM bulb type from your factory headlight? If it's an H4 or H7, our MH1 6.0 or MT2S 3.0 projectors will pretty much plug and play into your headlight. If you have any other bulb type from factory like a H13, H1, 9006, 9007, etc., you will need to make modifications to the back of your reflector bowl in order to secure down any projector out there. And that goes with OEM projectors from Lexus, Nissan, etc. as well. Now secondly, you want to consider the size of your headlight and the size of the HID projector you're pairing it up with. You don't want a large headlight housing and a small HID projector. It may look funny and it may look out of place because it's too small inside a large headlight housing. If you do decide to go with this option, consider getting a larger shroud that goes around the HID projector so it fills in the open space inside the headlight housing, making it look a little more complete and possibly OEM. Now I hope this information was helpful for you to choose the right HID projector for your car. If you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next video.